So everybody knows that politics is dirty, uh, by definition. Uh, but New York politics, like Chicago, gets especially dirty. And uh, one example is a recent mailer sent by the New York Democratic Party, which NYMAG uh, basically uh, obtained and, and uh, did a story on. Uh, and they explained that the flyer, mailer I should say, had misrepresented Cynthia Nixon's views on Israel and basically smeared her as anti-Semitic. Wow. All right. So now, what's this all about? This actually has something a little bit to do with the BDS movement. Uh, that, of course, is the uh, boycott, uh, divest, uh, and uh, sanction movement uh, that basically says, look, as long as Israel is building illegal settlements and treating Palestinians the way that, we are, the way that they are, then we're not going to do business with them. That's basically a consumer boycott. Now, I don't have a problem with that, right? Uh, and I actually don't think that's anti-Semitic at all. Basically, look, if you want to boycott Israeli goods because of their treatment of Palestinians, it's a valid form of protest. But of course, every time you bring that up, the immediate response is, you're anti-Semitic, you hate Jews, you hate Jewish people, you're a bigot. In fact, that's what um, uh, Alan Dershowitz, Alan Dershowitz wrote an article, uh, an op-ed, against Cynthia Nixon, calling her a bigot. Alan Dershowitz. I don't think I have to explain a little bit more why that's incredibly uh, wrong. Uh, but anyway, unfortunately, in a lot of our politics, especially Democratic Party politics, if you're not a staunch supporter of everything Israel does, especially everything the Israeli government does, and that's my issue with their government, then you are anti-Semitic. Again, this is a right-wing government. It's a ridiculous notion, right, uh, that you're anti-Semitic if you oppose the Israeli government and some of what they do, but it's one that too many Democrats seem to fall into. Now, Nixon, by the way, on Sunday said that she doesn't necessarily support BDS tactics and that she, had never, she never had supported BDS tactics, even though she had signed a petition back in 2014, supporting certain artists that refused to play uh, their music in Israel over their treatment of Palestinians, right? So, of course, Cuomo and his allies uh, seized upon that. Now, the mailer also condemned Nixon, among other, among other things, for being, quote, silent on the rise of anti-Semitism. Oh, no, she's not talking about uh, how there is a rise in anti and there it there absolutely is. Uh, there has been an absolute increase in anti-Semitism since President Trump had taken over, had gotten into office. So there is that happening in America, and that does get addressed, and it should be addressed. But also, we should also think about what's happening in, to the Palestinians as well. But here's the thing. This mailer is ridiculous and it's lying about Cynthia Nixon and her positions on Israel. But it's the same old smear tactic, right? That some of these groups use. You're against this group because of this or that, because you're advocating for someone else. So the whole purpose here is to turn um, Jewish voters in New York against Muslims in New York. And then to say, well, you know, Cuomo says, well, I'm with the Jewish people. And Cynthia Nixon, you're obviously not. When Cynthia Nixon is actually for both, it's incredibly cyn it's a, an incredibly cynical, dirty tactic. But it's one that's actually served very effectively, sadly enough. But anyway, now, here's the thing. Cynthia Nixon is deeply progressive, right? Now, on the issue of Israel, there is nothing progressive about building illegal settlements. There's nothing progressive about treating Gaza like an open-air prison or gearing up for war with Iran, in which the Israeli government under Netanyahu definitely wants to do. And any war that they get into with Iran, we're going to get into it. So here we have, of course, a situation uh, which could literally lead to another war in the Middle East. That's what the right-wing government of Israel is doing. So pointing that out, of course, people will be like, oh, you're anti-Semitic. No, that's not against the Israeli people. It's not even necessarily against the country of Israel. 
It is against the right-wing government of Israel, which is pro-war. So, anyway, as far as the solution goes, you guys know I believe in a two-state solution. That's the only way we're going to have peace. But there's an argument to be made that the actions of the Israeli government, funded by the United States, uh, American politicians, who then buy, you know, uh, I should say the Israeli government, also buys American-made weapons. Well, look, you could make an argument that they're not interested in peace. No, because they can maintain control of politics because of fear of Palestinian attacks, which there have been attacks, and I think those attacks are wrong, but it's not an equal, it's not really an equal, like, force of arms here. This is not an equal conflict. There's a disproportionate uh, use of, 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 of force and use of arms on the Israeli side, towards Palestinians. Nonetheless, there are people that will, will be like, oh, no, Hamas launched a rocket, so it's okay for the Israeli military to go launch strikes that end up killing more civilians in the Gaza Strip. No, there's a disproportionate use of force here. There's a disproportionate power here. It's not to say that Palestine, uh, that Hamas is fantastic, but Hamas is a reaction. But anyway, I'm getting too much into that. Let's get back to uh, the article here, uh, the smears. Now, the New York Mag uh, notes that the mailer was clearly meant to appeal to Jewish voters, obviously, likely conservative-leaning Hasidic and Orthodox Jews in particular. So the, understand that this is a Democratic Party mailer. That's saying, oh, no, no. We're, we're not going to target progressive Jewish people. We're going to target the conservative right-wing-leaning uh, Hasidic and Orthodox Jewish voters. Most of Jewish New Yorkers are not Orthodox. So understand who they're targeting here with these. Now, they said that it's not clear how many voters had actually received this mailer. One reporter's source put the number at only 7,000, but once it had gained widespread attention, condemnations had came fast and furious. In fact, let me uh, give you uh, Cynthia Nixon's response to this. She said, it's, uh, the mailers that Governor Cuomo and New York State Democratic Party have sent out are not only an attack on my family, but all, on all New Yorkers. At a time when anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, and other hate crimes are on the rise, it is sickening to exploit people's real fears like this. Now, let me explain what she means by it was an attack on my family. Well, Nixon, before she came out as uh, a member of the LGBT community, she'd actually married a Jewish man and uh, raised uh, and, and had two kids. Those children are being raised to be Jewish. And look, uh, she's also made a lot of connections and inroads into the New York Jewish community. Organizations like, I'm going to get this wrong, Bayat Simshat Torah, the city's first and still most well-known LGBT synagogue. I don't know what that accent, where that accent came from. Sorry. The American Jewish World Service, a group that focus on, focuses on Jewish th uh, philanthropy towards non-Jewish international causes, and Trua, the rabbinic human rights organization that is critical of Israel's presence in the territories, while also opposing the BDS movement. Now, notice that the only organization that she's not friendly with is APAC. APAC supports the right-wing government of Israel. So, again, here you have the Democratic Party of New York, supposed to be progressive, supposed to be liberal, sending mailers on behalf of Cuomo that are trying to appeal to the right-wing Jewish community. Wonderful. Obviously, you can understand why there was so much anger directed towards Cuomo. Now, for, uh, for example, State Senator Liz Kruger called this shameful. Prominent, prominent uh, labor leader Randy Weingarten, who supports Cuomo, by the way, uh, and her wife, a rabbi whose synagogue, synagogue next, Nixon attends, issued a statement by calling any accusations of anti-Semitism against Nixon, quote, a baseless lie. So here you have Cuomo supporters saying, whoa, that's too far. We know Cynthia Nixon. Cynthia Nixon is not anti-Semitic. 
Now, more. Mayor Bill de Blasio. Now, Bill de Blasio, of course, uh, has a little bit of an acrimonious relationship with Andrew Cuomo. Uh, he did, however, vow to stay out of this race, but even he couldn't help jump in. He said, the mailer sent by New York Democratic Party in the 11th hour falsely attacking Cynthia Nixon is beyond unacceptable. It is downright Trumpian. A tweeted apology calling it a mistake is laughable. The state party must compensate the Nixon campaign immediately. Now, getting to apologies. You'll love this. This is uh, Andrew Cuomo. Uh, he, of course, denied knowing anything about this. Quote, I didn't know about the mailer. I heard about the mailer. I haven't seen the mailer. <laughs> the way I ran this campaign, it's been on the issues. It's been positive. I think the mailer was a, a mistake. I think it was inappropriate. Oh, no, I, I haven't seen it. I, I haven't read I I heard about it, but at the time, no, I didn't know anything about it. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. That's ridiculous. And let me show you why. Uh, Liz Smith, strategist who works for both Cuomo and the New York Democratic Party, said on Twitter, uh, this again, this is uh, uh, Cuomo first. Uh, Governor Cuomo didn't approve of, inter, uh, of, of or any have any knowledge of the matter in question. He disagrees with the language in it, believes it is inappropriate, and urges voters to focus on, on the real issues in this race. So let me give you why this is bullshit. He tweets. Uh, this is Shane Goldmacher. Uh, Shane Goldmacher is a reporter for the New York Times, and he noted that Cuomo frequently gets his message out through the state Democratic Party, and he had tweeted this out. Uh, Cuomo can't say can say he didn't dis, uh, didn't approve of this particular party mailer. But broader context, this is Cuomo sent every piece of mail that I have seen through the state party. Among the reason is that paid for stamp adds gravitas when voters see the mail. So Cuomo sends all of his mailers through the Democratic Party. All of his messages. He knew. He knew about that. Come on. They're not going to just release an unsanctioned mail with his name on it and be like, huh, see, T Cynthia Nixon, anti-Semitic, what are you going to do? No, the reason is, of course, everybody, Jewish people saw this like, hold on there, buddy. Whoa, we know Cynthia Nixon. You obviously do not know Cynthia Nixon. She is not anti-Semitic. So, and, and look. Uh, Nixon also called BS uh, on the idea that Cuomo didn't know. I read you that tweet. Uh, and But here's the thing. Here, context, right? The reason that I say that he knew about this, because this isn't the first time something like this was pulled in a Cuomo-involved race. In 1977, Cuomo was alleged to have used the same kind of tactic in a Democratic primary against Ed Koch. So I'm saying if there's a history... Like, if it walks like a duck, sounds like a duck. It's probably a duck. He sent this. He absolutely sent this. He absolutely knew what he was doing. This is a gross, disgusting attack. This is playing so incredibly dirty. In the only way that uh, Democrats can. And by the way, Democrats, you ever see Democrats play this dirty against Republicans? Oh, if they did, they might actually win. But no, no, we only see this kind of viciousness against progressives like Cynthia Nixon. That's the only time that, that Democrats get nasty. It kind of tells you a lot about the Democratic Party. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.